Welcome to the Soundbridge Music Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front-range artists who not only shape the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're here today with Riley Ann and Kayleen Patrick of The Cat Calls, the featured Soundbridge Music member artist for February 2018. Founded in the spring of 2017, the group filled their first year with some memorable performances, and they are quickly becoming known for their soul blue style, rocking audiences with their original songs and well-known covers. 2018 is likely to be a very lively year for the band, and we can't wait to hear what's in store for them. Riley and Kayleen have been kind enough to take some time out of their day to talk with us. Thank you both so much for meeting with us today. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> what's in store for 2018? Oh boy. We got lots of stuff going. Yep. So, we have our first tour coming up at the end of March, and that'll be for two and a half weeks up through the Midwest. We'll be hitting Omaha and Lincoln and Dubuque and Des Moines and the Twin Galena, Cities. Galena, Potosi. Basically... My, my old stomping grounds, so that'll be fun. Yeah. And we are currently in the studio recording our first Cat Calls album. What can folks expect from that album? Any kind of directions you're taking the sound or...? We've got a bunch of original songs mm-hmm. um, that we, we both wrote uh, independently, but we brought them together and it's interesting when you write things independently and then you put them in the context of other people they kind of, like Kayleen has brought kind of some different styles and sounds out of my songs. And I feel like your songs are totally different. Not totally different, but there's definitely like a different energy and flavor to your songs than what you did in your solo shows. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of a cool way for us to kind of bring, you know, what we're doing together to make a coherent band sound. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that like the strength that comes from both of us working together like the songs just flesh themselves out like they have just been blossoming in the last couple of months since we've been playing them mm-hmm. um and some of the songs that Riley's like written in just the last few months are like they're big like they're big and heavy and I I'm really always excited to play and I cannot wait to hear them when they're done so uh what do you hope people come away with after listening to your music or going to one of your shows I think it's so mine I want people to walk away when I go to a musical event I want to walk away like high on the music and the energy Mm -hmm. you know like the best shows I've seen I'm just like whoa that was great like the musicianship was there the energy was there it was engaging it was fun it mattered like it really hit me inside and just like that's what I want to get that's what I want people to walk away with like that fun environment and like the, the best show that you can go see. Yeah, and I definitely want people to have that. And the songs that I'm most excited about sharing are the ones that I'm hoping will make a difference in people's minds. And I think most people are aware of a lot of these social issues that we sing about. And yet it's easy in this age to kind of take what we have for granted and sort of forget about these things because we feel like they don't necessarily impact us directly. And I, I want to use that as an opportunity to remind people like, yeah, these do exist and they are a big deal and we can do something. And that sort of like charged energy, like, okay, well, how can I call out, you know, racism when I see it? How can I call out, you know, when there's this conversation on gun control, you know, when people in especially every week, you know, virtually every day, there's another shooting. And it's like, rather than being like, no, we can't do this, or we have to do this. It's like, okay, this isn't a partisan issue. What can we do together? And, you know, those are huge questions that aren't going to be answered at any given, you know, any moment in history. That's going to be like a constant sort of evolution of change. Um, But it starts from the ground up. You know, we can't just wait for, you know, some law to just fix things. You know, it's, we're all in this together. And I, it's, it's really my, my goal is to be able to share those songs um, and have people walk away a little bit changed from that and able to have those one-on-one conversations or those 
Facebook war conversations <laughs> and be able to like approach them differently and more productively rather than that sort of like parroting whatever you want to say in your little echo chamber and hope that nobody else infiltrates that. Nice. So uh, what inspired you to become a part of Sandbridge music? Well, I think um, Trish and Wes are awesome. <laughs> and, you know, recognizing the power of music as a vehicle for change, you know, that's, that's really, you know, my goal with the cat calls is like, we do see ourselves as sort of a catalyst for change through music. And I think for Soundbridge Music to be really zeroing in on that, I mean, like, hey, you know, here are these people um, trying to make this change through music, and that's that's in alignment with their mission. I think that's awesome, and I think we need more of that, and you know, more of that not just with music, but with everything, because there's so many different ways to you know try to change things in society. So the fact that there's like putting a spotlight on that specifically for musicians um, in the front range, I think that's incredible. Uh, so if people want to uh, see more of your music or hear more of your music, where do they go? Everything's on our website, which is thecatcallsband.com. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And when that new record comes out, we will have it online. Bam. So Perfect. yeah, follow us on those previously mentioned platforms to find out where you can get the new music. Perfect. Anything yeah. else you'd like to share with your fans or, or the folks listening? Just that we're having a great time. We are. <laughs> it's so much fun and like I just I I'm, I'm really grateful for everybody who comes out to all of our shows and supports us and hears us play and high fives high fives us afterwards and <laughs> that's yeah. the best. That's because that's really what it's about. You know, we can practice in Riley's basement for as many hours as we want to, but until we take that music out and until it's shared with people it's not really alive. I mean, it is living, but it is not really alive until you have people to share that with. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I'm grateful for everybody who comes out and shares that with us. Yeah, and just people along the way. And, you know, Tim, thanks for interviewing yeah, us. Right. Thank you. Soundbridge Music and yeah. people for, for watching us. And yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting down and taking the time with us. Thanks for having us. And thanks for making your music and playing your shows and, yeah. and bringing the, the energy you bring. If you haven't seen the Cat Calls perform, you'll have a chance coming up on Saturday, March 3rd at the Hop Grenade in Fort Collins, starting at 7 p.m., so be sure to mark your calendar. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back in April for our featured artist of the month, Shanna and Address. If you are interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at www.soundbridgemusic.org.